To convert units to other units, two facts about the units in question must be determined before starting the calculation. First, look up the conversion factor. In the first problem, 90 kilometers are converted to meters. One conversion relation that is true is one meter equals one thousandth of a kilometer. For converting the units using this method, it's best to avoid using conversion factors in decimal or fraction forms, such as 0 0.001. Instead, look up the conversion relation with only whole numbers. For this problem, 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meters is the conversion relation to be used. 1,000 is the conversion factor. The second piece of information needed to set up the calculation is to decide if the problem calls for changing large to smaller units or small to larger units. For conversion direction, large to smaller, multiply the given unit quantity times the conversion factor. For the opposite direction, small to larger, divide by the conversion factor. Let's get back to the first problem. The conversion factor is 1000 and the direction of unit conversion is from large to smaller. Note that we were able to decide the direction of the conversion by analyzing the conversion relation. If each 1000 meters grouped together makes one kilometer, then a kilometer must be larger than a meter. Therefore, the conversion direction in this problem is from large to smaller. For the calculation, multiply 90, which is the initial quantity, times 1000. The answer is 90,000 meters. In other words, 90 kilometers are equivalent to 90,000 meters. Let's read the second problem. Change 250 centimeters to hectometers. The conversion factor to be used is 10,000 since there are 10,000 centimeters in one hectometer. Also, it is clear that a centimeter is smaller than a hectometer. Therefore, this problem converts small units to larger units. Set up the calculation as 250, the given measurement, divided by 10,000. That's equal 0 0.025 hectometers. Next problem follows the same steps. There are 10,000 millimeters in each decameter. Since the problem asks to change millimeters to decameters, then divide 3,500 millimeters by 10,000. There are 0 0.35 decameters in 3,500 millimeters. Finally, to change 10 decameters to decimeters, multiply 10 times the conversion factor 100. The answer is 1,000 decimeters. Changing metric weight units follows the same steps, except units for the next problems measure weight instead of distance. Since each 100 centigrams make 1 gram, then this problem calls to change small units, centigrams, to larger unit, grams. Divide by the conversion factor, 100. There are 0.4 grams in 40 centigrams. Next, change 53 milligrams to grams. Again, this problem changes small units to larger units, so divide 53 by 1,000. The answer is 0 0.053 grams. Now convert 0 0.54 grams to decigrams. Although the given weight is in decimal, the same two steps are still followed. A DC gram is smaller than a gram, therefore multiply the given weight in grams times the conversion factor 10. That's 5.4 DC grams. 
The last problem calls for changing grams to milligrams. That's large to small, so multiply 2.3 times 1,000. The answer is 2,300 milligrams. Compare this last problem with the second problem. The units in both problems are the same, grams and milligrams, and the conversion factor used is also the same. However, the conversion direction are opposite, which explains using opposite operations to calculate weight in desired units. The following problems convert units of capacity or volume. Note the volume metric system has two measurement unit systems, a system based on cubic meters and another based on liters. In the first problem, cubic meters are to be converted to liters, so a conversion relation is needed to connect both systems. One of those relations is one cubic decimeter equivalent to one liter. Since one cubic meter has a thousand cubic decimeters, then it is concluded that each cubic meter contains a thousand liters, which is the needed conversion factor. Obviously, a cubic meter is larger than a liter, therefore multiply the given volume times 1,000. The answer is 35,000 liters. Another relation that connects both metric systems is 1 cubic centimeter equals 1 milliliter. So, 450 cubic centimeters is the same volume as 450 milliliters. In this problem, again, one cubic meter has 1,000 cubic decimeters. So, to convert 19.74 cubic meters to cubic decimeters, multiply the volume times 1,000. The answer is 19,740 cubic decimeters. Last problem in this set asks to convert cubic centimeters to cubic decimeters. Since there are 1,000 cubic centimeters in a single cubic decimeter, then divide the volume 926 by the conversion factor 1,000. The answer is 0 0.926 cubic decimeter. Let's work on more liquid volume conversion problems. Change 3,450 deciliters to cubic decimeters. One cubic decimeter is equivalent to 10 deciliters. So divide the given volume by 10 since a cubic decimeter is larger than a deciliter. The answer is 345 cubic decimeters. For the next one, bring in the conversion relation for hectoliters and deciliters. Multiply the volume times 1,000. 124.3 hectoliters contain 124,300 deciliters. For this one, multiply the given liter volume times 1,000 to convert it to cubic centimeters. The answer is 9,000 cubic centimeters. Finally, since one liter is the same volume as one cubic decimeter, then 32.5 liters is equivalent to the same number in cubic decimeters.